Hey everyone, Jay here from Just Technics. Apologies for the delay on content. Once again, very, very busy. Uh, three to four pairs of turntables every week, so it's taken me a long time to find some free time, you know, to get some videos done. But we're going to start and back off again with a little unboxing video on a new product. I'll say a new product, this isn't new, um, but it's the first time I've shown this on the page. Now, I get asked a lot by my customers and what packaging I would recommend that you send your turntables off to me or any other technician to work on your turntables or just for storage. Um, but when you're working with couriers, you've got to be very, very careful. I get things through my door that have been sent in silly little things like um, black bin bags with bubble wrap turntables with a thinnest bubble wrap with a little bit of tape with nothing tied down. And then my customers wonder why they're damaged, you know, and it's common sense that you don't send what are meant to be your babies in just cheap rubbish. Then you've got the other spin of it. You've got the single layered boxes, single walled boxes with minimal tape with no internal packaging with a decks rattle around inside. Again, a big no-no. Other options you've got out there, custom made boxes. You've got obviously Master Sounds boxes that I have recommended before. And I've shown everybody on a previous video of what they like with the internals. But this particular brand of box now, I'm about to show you, is my all time favorite. And as far as I'm concerned, these are your go-to packaging boxes for sending turntables off to anywhere, okay? So Pimp My Dex boxes, yep, Pimp My Dex. It's another, you can call them competitors and more engineers and custom work guys in the UK that also customize turntables. I've got absolutely no issues of recommending Pimp My Dex. Sam and the crew over at Pimp My Dex are fantastic people, get along really well with them. I've not got a bad word to say about them, and I've never, ever, in all the years that I've been working on Technics, ever had to work on a set of decks that have been worked on by Pimp My Decks. So big thumbs up going to them, and I recommend people go to them when I'm fully booked as well, and I'm always pushing them forward. So Sam, massive respect to you and the crew over at Pimp My Decks. Now let's go with this, shall we? So, first off the bat with this, they're extremely well packaged in terms of the box. It's very thick. I've used quite a few of these boxes over the well, over the last few months and recommended to my customers and what to buy after I received two pairs in with these boxes. And I was extremely impressed with the way that they're layered. So other competitor boxes usually have two sections of foam. You'd have your, um, your dust cover if you're lucky that goes on the top section. Your platter will be recessed in the middle or not at all. And then you've got to find some weird and wacky way of putting your cables in. This has everything sorted. So straight off the top, as you can see, nice bit of foam across the top. You've then got another nice bit of foam across the top. And this is the first time I've opened this. It's for my customer, Adam. So if they're damaged, this video is still going to carry on. But I highly doubt, I highly doubt they're going to be damaged. Um, two blocks in the middle. You've then got another block underneath. Goes on top of your platter. I'm actually gonna turn the camera so you can see this before I take anything out. You see how well stacked everything is in there? So again, polystyrene blocks going all the way down to the bottom of the box. Or sorry, polystyrene foam blocks going all the way down to the bottom of the box. The platter isn't just pushed into a couple of sections of foam or anything, they're actually sitting on top of another block of foam. So there is no way that your platter is going to move around in transit when packaged correctly as stated by Pimp My Dex. So we'll take the platter out, as so, no damage, no nothing. We'll put that over here, hang on. Put that over here. Underneath that again, another block of foam. This has got the hole in the top. That's what goes over the top of the turntable itself with the spindle section will go in between. But that's the one side there, there's tons of packaging. The arm, obviously make sure that your arm is locked. What I recommend doing with, no matter what box you use or however you're packaging these, you do need to make sure that your arm is secure. Now Adam has put this on a rest. I highly doubt they're gonna move. It's not gonna move around anywhere, even if the arm really was gonna get loose in this box. It's been, it's been designed in such a way that if the clip come loose, there's very minimal movement. Uh, there's actually a recessed section across the front, if you can see with the arm where the arm actually, it would be knocking into. So even if the arm did come loose, it's not gonna really cause you that much grief. I'd like to say, and I don't wanna be testing that obviously, but I would be using things like fabric ties. Um, if your arms are in really bad condition, you're sending them in to me or somewhere else 
for replacement arm assemblies, then obviously cable tie them, sandwich bag tie them. It doesn't really matter too much about scratching the tubes because you're going to be replacing them over. If you are going to be careful with them because obviously you want to use the old parts and you haven't sent back to you, uh, or they're in really good condition and you don't want to have them replaced, then the alternative is going to be things like rubber bands. Um, again, you can use sandwich bag ties, again, if you're very careful, but I would use a thin layer of fabric, wrap it around the arm section and then tie around that. You can even cable tie around fabric and put them around. I used to do that quite a lot back in the day. Um, but yeah, make sure the arm assembly is, is as tight as possible. You don't want to be doing it over tight, obviously it's going to snap. When I say over, when I say tight as possible, I mean, no physical movement, a little bit's not bad. Make sure the rear weight is taken off as well and hide that somewhere within the box, <laughs> right? So again, take the front section out, you'll see just how deep this goes down into the box when I take all of this foam out completely. This is the first, this is actually the first two turntables I've had come through, it's the first one of two, that I've actually had sent packaged correctly in these boxes. People seem to get a bit overwhelmed and go, oh, I don't know where this bit of foam goes. They put them any old way they want, which is, I don't understand how. It's pretty self-explanatory, but it happens. Um, I usually find there's bits of polystyrene thrown around inside or bubble wrap where they've tried to bridge recesses because you get some very overly cautious customers. And that's not a bad thing, it's a good thing, but sometimes you don't need to worry about it. And with these boxes in particular, you don't need to go overboard. Everything you need is basically included within the packaging so even the arm sections you can see here with the back section how it's got the recess cut out here for the back where the arm section where the um the rear weight will clip onto the back of the deck um we've even got actually i'll show you this quickly as well if i can put this back on the camera obviously if you look at the back of this you're probably thinking what are they going to be for now you'd be thinking maybe sockets now what I use these for, and I'm not sure whether people in my decks have made it this way specifically for what I'm about to describe, but what I use this for is whenever I install new audio cables, I have the cables pushed under a recess in such a way that the cables will be facing upwards through one of the channels, and then the power cable goes up through the other one. So there's nowhere for the power cable or the audio cable to rattle around in the box, you know, because we know how flimsy grounding cables can be. You know, power cables can fling around, they can cause damage not only to the turntable, but to the box as well. You might want to reuse the box. So that's what I use the, the sections in here for. The turntable itself, I'd like to take this all out. The turntable itself sits in between, again, four recesses on the bottom of the box. So you can see it's not moving anywhere. It's in there nice and snug. If I take the deck out, I'm moving the foam out of the way. Oh, we get to see what we're playing with. So he's got <laughs> he's got one of his feet in here. Okay, that's fair enough. Feet in here. Ah, we've got some Pimp My Dex cable ties on these. Lovely, some fabric ties. I'm presuming that's what they're meant to be for for the arm. Um, but yeah, oh, you haven't got your rear weight. That's an interesting one. So Adam, if you're watching this, mate, where's your rear weight? Because it's not in here. But we'll put this to one side. Again, I'll show you again the box. Yes, yeah, so there's no rear weight in this. That's a bit interesting. So the bottom of the box, we've got four feet cutouts. So one of his feet was loose underneath the turntable and just sitting inside the, the foam itself. But you can see here, just from the thickness of the, I don't want to read, we're taking that out really, but the thickness of the foam, it's the same thickness on the base as what the rest of the foam packaging is going to be on the bottom. There is literally, unless you're giving this to an absolute idiot, uh, courier drivers and we're throwing this around there is really no way that your turntables are going to get damaged in transit in these boxes i mean i get it very rarely with some of the more so other competitor boxes that offer these custom made ones but this is by far the best custom custom made box that i have seen for a technics turntables and probably other similar turntables you'd be surprised maybe other turntable models will fit in this as well so it's worth having a look and maybe modifying the box if you were to buy them for a different model. But specifically for Technics, these are fantastic. So we're going to put everything here back how it should be. So we, well, so I say, I mean, we've got to put everything back now exactly how we've done it. And I've already done it wrong. Let's just get it all in here just to get this off the desk. But, but yeah, I've been wanting to do a, a video on this particular, this particular box for a little while now. 
So um, the minute I heard that Adam was sending these in to me in some Pimp My Decks boxes, I thought this is a golden opportunity to show everybody just how good, you know, just how just how good the pod, the packaging is for them. And again, you get everything in there. Highly recommended. Loads of packaging. Not the most expensive things on the planet either. Um, I mean, when you consider what they're actually going to be used for, a lot of people as well that I've spoken to, a lot of my customers, they go down the route of buying flight cases. Now, that's all well and good if you're actually going to use them when you get them back. I mean, some people buy good quality flight cases and sit them in them when they get them back and put them on the deck stand. Personally, well, that's up to you, isn't it, what you want to do with them. Some people buy them specifically just to send decks to me or other competitors. I get it all the time. I'll buy a cheap set of flight cases. I can get them for 100 quid. Yeah, but the word is cheap, right? 40 quid on a box and 45, 50 pound on a flight case is a big difference between it. It might be the same, very similar price, but you got to think you're buying a box with foam specifically for the purpose that you're using this for is that's to send turntables to the person to work on them or to your friends or if you sold them etc if you're spending 40 to 50 quid on a flight case what do you think you're going to get something that's made out of chocolate if you get the really nasty impact it's going to fall apart you're going to have um plastic handles which might look good quality until trust me until the handles fall off self tapping screws at the back to hold the handles on so you lift the turntable up the handle falls out like these cheap record boxes tops are usually made out of a very flimsy well I say hardboard a very flimsy board material that in certain areas if you throw it around too much they're going to get smashed damaged the locks can break it, it's not worth the aggro so the distant difference in price between the two isn't a lot but i would rather buy this knowing that my deck is going to turn up safe cheap flight cases you usually get again little sections of foam that go over the middle that's intended to push down against your platter to stop things from moving which is all well and good but even if you're going to go down that route I'd recommend coating everything in bubble wrap underneath, making sure that arm is caked underneath and on the top. So the same procedure again, take the weights off, take your cartridges, your head shells, etc., all off and make sure things are secure. And if possible, underneath the turntables, okay? So this is the option you should be going for. This is the only option that I'll really be recommending. There'll be a link for these boxes as well moving forward. I'm going to put a link for these on the website now this video is being made. So you'll see this on the website very shortly. Um, this will probably be on the same page as the link, funny enough, for the boxes. So yeah, I thought I'd just show everybody these because everyone's been asking me the best point of calling how to send them. There was, there still is a video of me Packaging up, uh, I think it was a single or a pair of Technics turntables, and I go to absolute hell with them, you know, covering the boxes in brown tape, covering the platters, making sure things don't move. And that's great, you can do that, but it's making things a lot harder than it really needs to be. And that video was quite a few years old now. That was in my one of my very old offices, very small office that I had, and there wasn't a lot of room in there neither. So no, I mean, I, I this is the only option to go for. Spend the money. Get the good quality bits and being realistic if you were going to buy boxes you'd need minimum a double walled uh, this is I think this is double wall funny enough double wall box you need bubble wrap now most places when you're going to buy them you're probably going to get them from amazon let's be honest you're going to buy a box from amazon you're going to buy a couple of boxes you need to buy a minimum of probably five of them you got to buy bubble wrap you're probably going to be buying 20 meters of bubble wrap and two rolls, 60 mil at 60 centimeter or 600 mil. Um, if you're buying them by bulk, you're not going to use the rest of them and it's pointless having it. It's going to get in the way. Just buy the boxes. It's going to work out cheaper. It really, really is. And it's, it's just better knowing that when you get these collected, they're going to be safe. So the couriers with me, for an example, I, I use APC. I've been using APC for a very long time. They security badge everything. The minute they're picked up from my customers, they're put into cages. Uh, you don't even need a printer. They sort everything out for you. So they security badge them, stick the labels on. 24 hours later, they're with me. And vice versa if they're going back to customers. And this has not got a mark on it. It's turned up to me today. It's a very, I'll say it's a discreet box in comparison to what you usually get. The only thing that I don't like about these boxes, I'm going to be honest, and I wish that it's probably just me being a bit picky, but... When it comes to couriers, we know, I mean, you must understand where I'm coming from here. I'm not just tarring them all with the same brush, but I've had packages go missing over the years. I've had turntables go missing. I've had parts go missing. If you plaster what is inside these boxes on the outer side of the box, 
So if you stay on there specifically for Technics 1200 and 1210, there's every chance you're gonna run into the odd delivery driver that's gonna go, oh, there's one or two of them there. Oh, they're gonna have Technics in them. So I'm not too, not a big fan of having you know, the actual physical graphics plastered on the front. They look great. I mean, these look fantastic. The way they've done them, it says on there what they're designed for. It's got the company logo, which is brilliant. But if I was going to send these out to someone, so to bear in mind, I would probably go under the illusion of wrapping these round, even in brown tape. It sounds ridiculous, going around in brown tape to mask what's inside these boxes. Um, covering over the logos. And the reality is you're not going to be bothered about having a box covered with brown tape because you're, once these come back, you're probably never going to use them again. And the, the reality also would be you can resell them. This is the thing, you can resell these. So you may have paid what you class as a small fortune to get these, but they've done their purpose, right? They do their purpose. Once you get them back, take them out, put them back in situ, use them and enjoy them get these, these boxes taped back up with some nice pictures, sell them on eBay, sell them, because you always make back, you know, you'll make back a big majority of what you spent on these, um, you know, to recoup the money that you would have spent. So I think it's a really good way, it's a really good way of sending your turntables. These are by far the best boxes I've, I've used, and I will recommend these to everybody to absolutely everybody. And I have been, <laughs> I have been recommending these to everybody. So again, your go-to box guys, if you are in the UK especially, because um, there's a lot of service engineers and, <laughs> engineers and techies and things over in the UK, um, these are your boxes to go for. There are a couple of competition ones out there and you'll find like Master Sounds for an example, again, great quality. But these, in my honest opinion, are the best boxes to send your Technics to. I'm not endorsed in any way by Pimp My Decks. If anyone starts going, oh, you're going about them a lot. No, I'm not endorsed by them. They're not paying me in any way to do this video. This is purely where, where credit is deserved. This is what you want. And most people out there, if, you, you know, if you're a techie in the UK and you repair these for a living, if you do similar to what I do, and you're looking for a solution to problems of things turning up where customers just don't package them up properly, do not follow your instructions, and they just turn up and don't want to pay, this is your solution. They will turn up to you, and if they follow the instructions outlined by Pimp My Decks on the site and the picture diagrams, etc., they will not turn up damaged. Simple as that. This is it, guys. Grab my Pimp My Decks. The link will be on my website soon. I'll try and get it up tonight. Any questions? I don't suppose it probably won't be that many. It's a cardboard box. <laughs> if there are any questions on these, please feel free to pop comments down below. I will do my best to get back to you as quick as I can. There are so many comments that I still haven't responded back to, and I'm really sorry. But like I've just said, I've been really, really busy. I still am now. This week alone, we've got on this side of the of me, uh, well, this quarter of my one unit is big. I've got two pairs that have just been completed. We've got two in flight cases. We've got two here that have been wrapped in brushed titanium. There's two plinths that are about to be deep cleaned and wrapped in camouflage, uh, shadow black camouflage vinyl. There's another pair there where you can see the, the lids are sticking up. There's another pair of 1200s that are ready to go back to a customer. We've got a single 1210 on the other side of the camera. And then in the other corner of the unit over there, which you probably won't be able to see it from here, there's two pairs of um, the Mark, the pair of Mark 5s, the pair of Mark 2s, 1210s that are ready to go back as well. So I've been very busy and I'm actually behind at the moment. That's why I haven't had time to do the video. So again, I'm sorry, but yep, any questions on these, feel free to hit me up on the on the messenger on there, uh, stick some comments below and obviously fail and that, speak to the source directly, get in contact with Pimp My Decks, they'll happily hook you up with them. I'm presuming they've got stock of them. If they've got any sense, they will, because they're gonna go very quick. There we go, guys, thanks for watching. Hope this has been helpful to you. I'll see you all very soon on the next video. Take it easy.